G'day viewers, on to my next restoration project. This is a Land of Sangaya model, um, I forgot where to put a model in this one. Switzerland, genuine Land of Sangaya. Oh, there it is, HL2DF3, number 30, 902670. Two times 240, 415 volt, so it's a two phase, three wire uh, meter. Two times 15, 45 amps max. State Electricity Commission uh, meter, obviously, in northeast Victoria. 50 cycles per second, 135 revolutions per kilowatt hour, and lettuce and guy, the old lettuce and guy logo. Now, I did wire this up before off camera. They wires up the same as my Chamberlain and hook them, so active in, jumps, active in, active out, jumps, active out. Potential core here, and here, so it comes out, this first one comes out in here, energizes that potential core, and it taps off the neutral, so neutral goes in, and that's energized potential core. Time switch for the rate changer, goes on there. And active out comes out to this one. Active comes in here through that switch back in through there, which energizes a little um, motor that actuates the uh, arrow and engages the other register. So you active in, active in, active out, active out, neutral in, neutral out. And time switch out one of the active out or active in actually. You tap, tap off that to go to the switch and, and into your load, which is your little motor here that actuates the um, register there. So it's pretty simple. Missing the terminal cover on this one, unfortunately. All right, let's plug the heater in. Power on. Time switch test. All right, let's do the, the low rate. Get that number rolled over to six. Let's plug the heater in. No arm um, one tech dial on this one, so power on. So that's probably close anyway. If that goes spot on to the six, that should advance a certain amount, so we'll know it's accurate. I'll save that for a rollover last. It's just about to roll over there. There you go, she's working. Slow meter, uh, slow meter, 175 grams per kilowatt hour. The date, uh, probably, just probably be from the late 30s, so early 40s, this meter. Have to have a look inside it, because this one it doesn't have any anti, there's no anti tamper seals in this one, so I can open this and up and can have a look inside it. There you go, she's halfway there nearly. That was advanced a little bit. So it's got 129 or 12 here. Yeah. 12,906. So it's probably gone around, say, 101,000, I reckon it is. So it'll go on around more than once in its life. The, uh, Register, right around back past zero. Low rate, back on the high rate. Re engages it back in gear. Alright, oh, there you go, that one there's touching. A bit hard to do with these, once this one doesn't have the, um, the proper one tenth style, so... So far, that six seems to have rolled over a bit more. Well, let's... Let's open it up. There you go, the six is showing up more now. Alright, power off. Goes back into what's default position. Heater off. Let's, um, open the meter up. Okay, viewers. Oh, this meter smells of mouse crap inside. Oh, mouse crap is all I can smell. 
but there's nothing. That's probably just the um, old uh, resin and stuff and the resin blocks and everything and insulation. Just old age. Just set up with a small like mouse crap. There you go. If I can hit the camera to see what that's doing. There you go. You can see that. There's a little spring there that pulls it back towards the fault, um, the fault position on the high right there. There's our brake magnets. There should be another one on the other side there. No, this one here just has one. Adjust so the load wheel is perfectly central. Alright, and there's our um, connect the block terminal block for the uh, brake changer. Let's do a rollover so I'll turn the power on. Switch off. High rate right, and do a rollover. It's got the uh, rolling barrel number wheels. And there's a little drive in there, the meshing of the worm drive. Almost. Slowly rolling over. I should take that face plate off and we can um, see in detail those barrels, number barrels there. So we'll turn the power off, safety first. This one is relatively easy to pull apart without messing up. So undo those two screws and then we'll just lift off and come off. We're going to have a good detail on how this um, mechanical register works. A very unique setup. Okay, we also just slid straight off carefully. Alright, here's our number barrels. How unique is that? That is cool. Power on. Timer switch on. There you are. There's our clutches in there. And there you are. Power off. And that's the right register. So its default is a high rate when that's not energised. There's your clutches in there that do the um, disengage each register when it's on the other rate. And they are actually hollow aluminium drums there. Very, very slowly they're turning. Very slowly. The detail on these things, how, good, how well it's made. Just a tiniest little clutch on there. Camera probably won't pick it up. No. Very cool, I like that. There you go, better look at the brake magnets. One on top, a big one on the bottom. Bearings are pretty good. They're in good nick. Any creep there? That stops it from creeping when there's no load connected. Okay, power off. Unplug safety first, so I'll put that nameplate back on. Power back on. Almost. Very well made meter. Ninety thousand eight hundred and forty. There's your timer switch comes off there, goes up around here, terminal block into that little solenoid there. It's like, a, it's like, it's like an electromagnet that pulls it and holds it down and engages the other register. Okay, 
Okay, viewers, that's pretty good. Power off. One more demonstration of the rate changer. There you go. You see it pulls it to one side. Interesting, eh? Interesting how these old, older arm um, meters work. Unplug safety first. Alright, let's do a cosmetic cleanup on it. Okay, if yours is pretty shiny now, much better. It's got a lot of stuff I had to scrub off. So there's some stuff gunked onto it from over the years. And just realised this glass viewing window is also dirty and mucky on the inside. So now I have to pull the cover off again and polish the glass up. Then it will look really good. And there's the back of the meter. Looks like there would have been a handle here, but they didn't mould one in. There you go. Alright, let's take the cover off and clean that glass and see how it looks. Okay, have you always one nice and shiny? Much better. Still a bit there yeah, to scrub off, you can see in the light there. Some very stubborn marks on that. Oh all in all, she came up pretty good. Glass is a lot better than what it was. I'll leave the specs out again. It's a Lattice and Gaia model or type HL2DF3, number 30982670. So uh, I'm guessing this is probably from the late 1930s, early 40s, this meter. 2 times 240, 415 volts, 2 times 15, 45 ampere mats. 50 cycles per second, 135 vats per kilo whatever. And made in Switzerland. Genuine Landis and Gaia. Two phase three wire meter. Thanks for watching.